Whoa, whoa, what the? I killed one and the other one was so destroyed that the explosion killed him? Wow. Very first kill is a double kill. That is hilarious. Hello beautiful people. So this little vehicle is called the Rain 37L. The vehicle was introduced yesterday with a new power update from War Thunder. And first a tiny bit of history. Now it was actually from, as you can guess, 1937. And it was made by, you guessed correctly again, the company Lorraine. Now originally it was actually meant to be a tank supply tractor. That's also what it's directly translated as from French, which I'm not going to butcher, so I'm not even going to try. So the French army needed a fully armored munition and fuel supply carrier. And Lorraine came up with this concept. And to know who used it the most and was very happy about this particular vehicle, of course, it was the Germans. So after the fall of France, the Germans really seized 360 of them and used them for all kinds of things. They used it as a supply vehicle and ammunition carrier. They put a 15 cm howitz on it. They put a 10.5 cm howitz on it. And it was actually the basis for the very first Mata 1 that also used this Lorraine chassis. But back to the one we have in game. As you can see in the game, it's a tank destroyer and it sits at BR 1.3. It has a for its BR very powerful gun. It's a 47 mm gun with a pretty rapid reload rate of only 3.6 seconds. The armor penetration is 94 mm at 10 meters and a very respectable 73 mm at 500 meters. So the gun is very effective at BR 1.3. However, you have only 22 rounds with you. And at that low BR, everybody knows they want to go ham. And so you can quickly run into trouble with not having enough ammo. But on the other hand, it doesn't take a whole lot to uh, actually take you out. So if you manage to use your 22 shots, good for you. If you're looking at the protection, or rather the lack of, as you can see, the front has 9mm of armor and the rest of the hull has 6 mm of armor. You do get 7 mm of armor on the gun shield, but that's about it. Surprisingly, I've actually managed to bounce off a lot of shots, so even though the armor plates are thin, you can actually survive much more than you would usually think, and I was often surprised that I could survive how long I actually did. One of the issues with this vehicle is its speed, or again, lack thereof. Top speed is 36 km per hour, and the vehicle only has 70 horsepower, which means that often you are very slow uphill, and there are some hills you cannot even traverse just because you lack the horsepower to actually do so. Except for the gun, this little vehicle actually has a couple of very nice features. I know it's open top, but as you can see, the chassis itself is very low, so you can hide or get covered behind things you would not normally be able to. Another great thing, which is probably the best thing besides the gun's penetration, is how much you can depress the gun. And it's 13 degrees, and that is a lot. And that means you can place yourself in cover so you're covering your chassis itself and only poke out the gun shield and the gun. And knowing that you have so little armor and you are open top and your crew is placed like it is, it's a great way to survive and also be able to kill opponents who cannot shoot at you at the same time.
we have arrived on Ash River. And oh, look at that. There's just the rains everywhere right now. It's the first time I've seen that. So, and there's another one. Wow, that's funny. Okay, so I think I'm going to try and move forward here and see how much I can survive. I've noticed that despite it uh, being uh, such a little vehicle, it's uh, I've actually survived a lot of uh, random shots, especially from the, from the Swedes. Uh, although they can pin a lot, um, especially the Sabo don't really have any post pin uh, um, damage going on. And if you don't really hit, you know, one of the crew behind, there's a lot of uh, kind of dead space between the driver and uh, the crew. I know there's a, there's a gun and all, but still, it's worth mentioning. Okay, let's see how far we can get up before we're getting murdered. One of the good little things about this vehicle is that it's so small. about somebody hello <laughs> oh, best kill of the day it's okay I can die now oh that was lucky oh wait a minute I'm with the Germans no I'm not with the Germans so that was lucky Something down there. Okay, I'm moving up. Hmm. This is of course just a matter of time before... Before I'm getting killed. But I see if I can stretch my... Me surviving as much as I can, as long as I can. I can't see him, I can't see him. Oh, I got him. Oh, there's one more. What is he shooting at? Okay. Oh. Got him. Moving back a little. He got the other guy. He's still alive, and I'm still alive. Oh, we got another one. Nice. That's a fun little bout. One of they gave up. At Whoa. Probably not yet. Okay. I'm moving up as well. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, just instant incoming. Let's 
See someone right there. He's moving up now. Oh, and there's somebody below me too. I thought of some... Found that other guy, but oh, he got him. Whew. What was that? Oh, he damn, he got eight, and I got five. Well. He did a super super good job and I just I'm just happy that I made Ace Oh is that he's dead Super happy That was it for this little video about the new Lorraine thirty seven L introduced in the new power update. Until next time, have a good one.